Hello, welcome to all in exam race physics. In this, we will talk about the action angle variable. So, from this topic, most of the questions are asked every year. Every year you can see a question from this, at least one question. And this, que this question, I see many of the aspirants have skipped, skipped this question. Why? Because it, is, it needs a small trick. But student get stuck in the integration part of this. What is this and why student is stuck in this integration? What about the integration we will learn in this lecture. So this action angle variable is to find all periodicities of periodic motion. Okay, action angle variable is to find all periodicities or the periodic motion without going detail into the Hamilton Jacobi system. So this is denoted by J and which is equals to integral of P dx. What is P? P is the momentum here and dx. dx is somewhat related to the coordinate system, coordinate system or in x coordinate. Okay, so we have to find the relation between time period and energy or frequency and energy. So what is the relation between energy and frequency? So this is denoted by DE by DJ. You must have to remember this formula also to proceed for this Jacobi angle variable. Also, I can write that we all know that that frequency is inversely proportional to time period or frequency is the reciprocal of time period. So we can write time period as dj by de. Now, how to find this j? In previous year question, we can see that each and every time they find the they want to find the relation between energy and that variable. The variable may be changes every time. Maybe the action angle variable, maybe the relation between time period and energy, maybe the relation between frequency and energy. So we must have to focus on each and every part with the energy. Means we have to focus only on energy. That how momentum depends on energy, how this coordinate just depend upon energy. And every time what they do, they give just simple relation between potential energy and coordinate system. For example, like this. Here we can see that potential energy is equals to a x to the power n. And what is n? n may be integer, may be fraction. But we can say that potential energies depend upon the variable. And that variable is coordinate coordinate system variable x. So I can find x to the power n is equals to v by a. But for this type of question, every time total energy is equals to potential energy. Total energy is equals to potential energy. So x to the power n is equals to e because e is replaced by the potential energy or I can say that x is directly proportional to e to the power 1 by n. So what I did, I find the relation between x and energy. Now I already told you we have to focus on energy because we have to find the relation between energy. Now what is the relation between momentum and energy? We all know that momentum in terms of energy can be written as 2m e minus v and if i take e common so can i say that that momentum is directly proportional to 2m e or or momentum is directly proportional to e to the power 1 by 2 so p we know that we come to know that P is directly proportional to e to the power 1 by 2 
x is directly proportional to e to the power 1 by n also what is the relation between angle action angle variable and momentum we already know that that is pdx so if i put the values if i put the values what i will do that j is replace this p with this one so it is root 2 or instead of this i replace the proportional with proportionality sign so 2me and instead of this x i must have to write e to the power 1 by n so what is j j is directly proportional to e to the power 1 by 2 into e to the power 1 by n and which is equals to e to the power if we solve it that is 1 by 2 plus 1 by n okay now we can easily differentiate this with respect to e to get the value of time period okay so we already know that time period is denoted by de by dj by de dj by de okay now there is a question question from previous year that a potential is potential energy is given okay and which is potential energy is given and which is v mod x this is the latest 2022 uh, february question is there and they uh, want to know that how time period is related with the energy we all know that time period is related directly motion to energy with some power and that power we don't know and they want to ask what is the value of a what is the value of a now they given this and for this this all is for small oscillation this all is for small oscillation so what is time period we know time period is dj by de dj by de and also what is j what is j here we know that that j is directly proportional to e to the power this is the formula that we have to remember okay now what is n here what is n here n is the i told you what is n here and uh, that n when potential energy is directly proportional to x to the power n and n can be integer and fraction so what n what is the value of n here n is 1 just put it we got j is directly proportional to e to the power 3 by 2 and to find the time period just differentiate e to the power 3 by 2 and we come to know that time period is nothing but directly proportional to e to the power 1 by 2 so what is the value of a a is 1 by 2 now this is easily solved by using the simple trick of action angle variable just remember this formula and we can solve now there are many questions can be asked what is the relation between action angle variable and e this is the solution for time period this is the solution and if they ask the frequency just reverse it reciprocal that and we got this frequency also okay so thank you for this for complete course please subscribe 
and visit on doorstartutor.com thank you